Hello everybody and welcome to Blender 2.79. This is not the full release. This is a the uh sorry, the release candidate, but I am super excited because uh they now added this new feature called the shadow catcher. And uh I'm just like, yeah, because before to get any kinds of shadow catcher, you would always have to use a uh, bunch of render layers and super complicated and, and it never worked with like HDRIs and it was dumb it was dumb but now there's the new shadow catcher and the uh, hype is real man the hype is real so I'm gonna go ahead and go into excuse me I'm gonna bring down these uh, node right here open up the world settings click use nodes and Look up environment texture. I have this really bad habit of going through and uh, searching for nodes. I, I have no idea where any of them are. Gonna go ahead and hit open and terabyte. Let's see, Google Drive. Where is it? There it is. And HDRIs. Click th that button right there. Look at all them. I think this is the one that I used for this. Hey, what do you know? It is. Um, it's really bad. I need to fix the strength. Not that high. And really quick, I'm going to add in a... Oh, that's Shift-Z. That's why. Mapping and a texture coordinate. Generated, put it into vector, 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 and switch it to texture. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have the rotation of the z-axis. Turn it to be like that. Voila! We have it set up to be rendered pretty much. Except for the shadow catcher. Now, when I did this in... Um, Blender 2.78, as I said before, it was super complicated and it never functioned. I tried to do it, didn't work. And uh, so what I'm going to do now, click this little cube here, the object settings, I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Go to cycles, settings, shadow catcher. All you have to do is turn it on and... Let's see here. Am I getting a shadow? It looks like I am through the HDRI, but I think I might need to have some direct lighting here. So lamp. Let's go ahead and create a sun here. Let's see. I'll move it over here. Look at that. Blender is growing so much recently. And it, it is honestly insane how crazy it's it's grown in popularity just from when it was a small little program back in flat out 2.0 it was and now it's grown to this big giant massive community where people can share art and all this stuff and it it's insane and i'm so happy that it has grown to to the point where it has today and, um, but yeah, that's the new Shadow Catcher. And I think that, that's pretty dang cool. Okay, everyone, so, uh, I know this is super short. I just wanted to share with you how, uh, to use the new Shadow Catcher in 2.79. And, uh, really excited for that release. Gonna come out soon. Um, again, to download that, the link is in the description. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and have a nice rest of the day. Yeah!